In this video, we will establish a site-to-site -site VPN tunnel between an ASA and a Cisco CSR router. At site A on the left, we have the ASA with an inside LAN of 10.1.10.0, and on the right is site B with a router and local network 10.2.10.0. This tunnel will be configured via the command line on both devices. But then after we get the tunnel up, I'll log into the ASDM on the ASA and the Cisco Configuration Professional GUI management on the CSR so you can see how to use the VPN wizards if you are not comfortable with the command line. In the real world, we would always use the command line, but it can be a lot easier at times from the GUI. Here's our command line script that we're going to use on both the ASA and the router. You can see that there's some syntax differences between configuring it on the ASA versus the router. First, we will define our local and remote networks. This is considered to be our interesting traffic and it is the only traffic allowed over the VPN tunnel. Then we configure a NAT rule to exclude translations between our local and remote LAN networks. When the VPN traffic egresses the VPN gateway's outside interface, without the NAT exclusion, traffic may match an existing NAT rule, which can cause issues with VPN tunnels. Next is the phase one policy that defines the type of authentication, encryption, hashing, and DH group that will be used for the phase one tunnel. We then need to create a pre-shared key that will be used for authenticating the VPN peers, on the ASA, the key is applied within a tunnel group, which is the same as a connection profile. Along with the tunnel group, a group policy is also required on the ASA. Next, we will set our transform set parameters for the encryption and hashing types that will be used for phase two. To tie everything together, we need to create a crypto map. Crypto maps match interesting traffic ACLs, set our VPN peer public IPs, and define the transform set protocols. To activate the crypto map, it needs to be applied to an interface. This would normally be the outside internet facing interface. Once the crypto map has been activated, you of course want to make sure that routing is configured throughout the network to send traffic to the firewall and out of the outside interface for traffic to be encrypted in the VPN tunnel. Let's start off with the Site A configuration on the ASA firewall. Okay, I'm in the lab ASA. I'll paste in our VPN script. Looks like it was happy with all of the commands. Now we'll head over to the Site B router and paste in the VPN script for that side. To start the tunnel, we need to send some interesting traffic across our devices. Here's a Site A device on the ASA side. Let's see what its IP address is. So 10.1.10.11. Now let's go and see what the PC's IP address is on the Site B side. The device over on the Site B side has IP address of 10.2.10.12. So we'll see if we can ping that IP from Site A. There you go, so that tells me that our VPN tunnel is working. Let's make sure that we can ping from site B to site A. Okay, so we have bi-directional communication. The first verification command I always run on ASAs is show crypto IceCamp SA. And that command is going to verify our phase one status. On ASAs, MM active is the state we want it to be in for a successful phase one tunnel. So we're MM active for the tunnel going to site B. We'll run the same command on the Cisco router. The output's a little bit different. On routers, QM idle is the final state of phase one. So it's not MM active like it is on the ASA. So this looks good. This shows me that phase one has been successful. 
back in the ASA to verify phase two and if traffic's actually being encrypted and decrypted across the tunnel, we run the command show crypto IPsec SA. It shows our local and remote network, our VPN peer IP. To truly verify if the tunnel is working correctly, you can tell if packets are being encrypted and decrypted. So this looks perfect. Run the same command on the Cisco router and we have a similar output. We see our local and remote networks, our remote peer, and our encryption and decryption statistics. Now I'm actually going to delete the tunnels from the command line and then we're going to configure the same tunnel but from the GUI management applications for the ASA and the router. So remove all of our commands on the ASA and then we'll do the same thing on the router. Here we are in the ASDM on the ASA. To configure our tunnel from the ASDM we'll use the VPN wizard for site to site tunnels. Put in our remote gateways public IP address, outside interface, and then we can actually call out our objects that we created previously from the command line. Paste in our pre-shared key. We want to exempt this traffic from NAT translation. And then next, as you can see, it's so easy to configure site-to-site tunnels through the ASDM wizards. So this may be the preferred method for a lot of you. Hit finish. Okay, we should be good. Next, we'll use the Cisco Configuration Professional GUI management application on our Cisco router. Here's the Cisco Configuration Professional. It's a software that you can execute on your computer that allows you to manage your Cisco routers with a GUI application. So I've already added our lab router as a device. If you click on the configure button, you can see the different types of configurations that you can push to the router from the configuration professional. It's actually really cool. You can back up your configurations from here, upload files for software upgrades if you'd like. Okay, so now we'll configure our site-to-site -site VPN tunnel with the configuration professional wizard. We go to configure, security, VPN, and then site to site VPN. Launch the selected task. You can go through the quick setup wizard, but we're going to use the step by step wizard so we have the ability to customize some of the configuration. G1 is our outside interface. Put in our peer IP address and pre shared key. By default, it has this 3DES policy. We're going to add a new one to match the security on the ASA side. We'll select that proposal and hit next. We also want to make a custom transform set. We'll select add. Hit OK and next. Now we have to define our local and remote networks. Site B is 10.2.10.0 with a slash 24 mask and site A is 10.1.10.0 slash 24. So that's it. We've created our tunnel with the Cisco Configuration Professional. Click finish and deliver the configuration to the router. Okay, so we should be in business. We'll go to our site A PC and generate some interesting traffic to start the tunnel. And we're getting replies, so that's good news. Back on the ASA, if you go to monitoring and sessions under VPN statistics, we can see the status of our tunnel. 
Up here you can see we have one active site-to-site -site VPN tunnel. Back on the router, we can go to monitor IPsec tunnels, and we get some of our phase two statistics and a nice green icon if the tunnel is up.